Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the Swiss Confederacy campaign. Uh, we are following on from last time and we unfortunately lost Istanbul and the Ottomans have now reformed so that is our danger at the moment. I did take into consideration some of your feedback from the previous videos and my plan is in fact to try to take out the Russians to gain these extra uh, provinces. Unfortunately, if you look, I think Russia are only down to the last three or four. France have basically taken over most of the map. Um, my plan was to take those Russian provinces and then move to the west where Italy is and take out some of these Italian states, so perhaps uh, the Papal States and Naples. Plenty of wealth in this region and then eventually go up the spine of Italy and into France. So we're going to do a little whip round, but first of all I need to take out these damn Russians and these damn Ottomans. So <laughs> the French are beating me to it at the moment, unfortunately. We need to get this army into Russian territory quickly now. Even though we're replenishing, just get there quickly. I think the French are going to take this now anyway, unfortunately for me. <laughs> it's going to be awkward, this is. Um, the French seem to be one step ahead all the time. We will end turn. We'll see what happens in the end turn phase. It's um, It's very difficult at the moment to decide how to do this because because France is so so massive they have most of Europe Russia had, I mean I can't get over it, it's only what two episodes ago Russia had all of this with the cursor is at the moment all of this was green I was slowly planning my assault I, I went in took out Austria I thought great I can now push south push east take out all of this green turn it red and have a nice big spine then to attack France with <laughs> the French have just taken over. They've just gone bump, bump, bump. Thank you very much. So, oh, th there we go. They've just taken out. <laughs> they've just taken out Bucharest, and I wanted to take out Bucharest. Oh God. How on earth am I going to do this? I'm going to have to go to Spain now and, and Scandinavia and try and take those provinces. <laughs> um. Okay, we won't waste this army. We will go to Istanbul. Or at least we'll try to go to Istanbul. We still replenish this one turn and then go straight down there. My spy can actually. Why can't he go down there? My spy. Right, can he join up? Strange. There we go. <laughs> An awkward way of doing it with my spy, my agent. Do you want to see what the Ottomans have down here? So yeah, let's have a quick look at this. So, Russia have Odessa over here. All of this is part of Odessa. They do still have Moscow, and they have Saint Petersburg. That's all they got. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't. It's going to be very awkward. The French are just taking over. But try to take the Ottomans out first at least. Give us something. Um. I should probably start building uh, a second army, perhaps. Well, we have started recruiting here. I uh, can only have militia, unfortunately. Uh, we should probably rebuild this as well. Damn French. Um, uh, how can I do this? Let me know in the comment section what you think I should do, because at the moment I'm a bit lost. I don't know how I'm going to play this. Got a nice navy by here I can start using soon anyway. Gives us something against the French, surely. We're so small at the moment. Let's check diplomatic relations, see if we can... Who are the French allied with? See if we can get some allies. Spain, Württemberg, Italy and myself. See, it's the same four. They're at war with practically everyone else, so can the United Kingdom... I can't get an alliance with them. Can't do anything with them. That's a shame, that's a big shame. Right, we'll go into end turn again. There's not much I can do this turn. Hopefully we can get a bit of luck and try to take out the French somehow. Oh my god. I I know the French are super aggressive in in Napoleon, but this is taking the mick a little bit. <laughs> Although I do like a challenge, I won't complain too much. It's what we want from our Total War games. And there we go. Transylvania has now recruited a few more units for me. I'm not going to bother upgrading to an ordnance factory because 
I got the artillery I need already, so just be a waste of resources. This army can now. Uh, before we do that, we move our gentlemen to the south. Oh, they've got a massive, massive army. I need to replenish as well. It doesn't matter. We'll go and attack anyway. I do fancy our chances to take the Ottomans out once and for all. Try to hunt them down at least. Yeah, I think we can do all right with them. The French are just everywhere. Will lumber mill uh, wealth? I uh, won't bother for now. Actually, yeah, we will because we do need money, so we will go for that for this turn. And I think we can end turn again. Um, at the moment, there's no battle planned uh, apart from the Ottoman conquest because I was planning in this episode to try to take Bucharest, but the French unfortunately got there. So the Russians are they going to try and take Athens? Looks like it. Uh oh, it's not good for me. Oh, and they've sallied out to attack me. So we have got a battle, and I shall attack. Battle of Istanbul, 1805. Halil Hussein versus Oscar Reichmann. Seems to be my main general in this campaign, Oscar Reichmann. All hail the Reichmann. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're all enjoying this campaign. I certainly am. It's really, really hotting up at the moment. I believe this is part 33, I think it is. Probably should have checked how many I've uploaded before I recorded this, but I think it is 33. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. Right, we have my artillery, so... Oh, they got their artillery in the front, and they have four? Yes, they have four cannons in the front. I will spread out my cannons in that case, also in the front. I have an awful lot of crap units. This militia unit can go in between the line of the cannon, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. We group these uh, six units of line infantry up. I'll go with my specialist V formation, if I can get them into formation, that is. From here, how far can we stretch? Go nice and wide, like so. Same with all of these. Put them into a group. Nice big line. I like this formation a lot. This is kind of my specialist Napoleon <laughs> formation where basically form artillery in the center. I try to reinforce both flanks with some sort of cavalry. Keep my strong units in the center. Like so. Start the battle straight away. And what I try to do is uh, whip round my force into a V. If you're quick enough, it can be quite effective. You're basically forcing the enemy into a big cluster in the centre. And I do believe I've forgotten to unlimber my cannons yet again. Silly me. Right. The militia, of course, in between the two to help warden off the enemy. I have my general nearby to provide a rally if so needed. And this is uh, going to be a big battle in this campaign, I think. Oh, and they're getting cannon shots away already. And I want these units to run. I'm going to bring my cavalry right up as well. On this flank. I'm going to do the same with my other cavalry. On the other flank. Get them into formation as quickly as possible. They've sallied out to attack me, so they've got to come to me. As you can see, the range on these units. I actually put this unit into guard mode, this militia unit in the center. I want them to stay there, warding off any attack which does come towards them. And here we go. Already getting shots away. Don't want fire in advance on. And this is where the V formations effective look. We're routing some of them already. And I can actually bring this part of the line in now. It's very good for outflanking. Nice and wide. Try to outflank. Here we go, the Janissary is now being routed on this flank. And basically what I do is slowly bring my flanks in, inward. So this flank now, look, be brought in like so. My cavalry can be brought up even further. Making the AI think about it. 
And now I can probably switch the canister shot. Yes, we can switch the canister shots now. They're in range. This is where it's useful. They've got to try to get, take out my cannons. My canister shots can do a lot of damage. Oops. We can form squares quickly as well on the inside of these lines. Switch the melee. Try to take them out. And again, plenty of volleys off as well on this left flank. A little rallying call for my general. Now this flank has got to be brought in as well, by the looks of things. I haven't been paying much attention to this flank. Oh, what's happened over here? We've been attacked. Janissaries come back by the looks of it. Form squares quickly now over here, try and take them out. These two lines can continue to reform. Doing fairly well at the moment. Let's concentrate our canister fire. We are routing many of the units. They have actually come out to attack me as well by lots of things. Our men are running for there we go, we are routing, some of our units are routing. Which is a shame. Let's try to counteract the enemy. It's in the balance at the moment. The damn Ottomans charging me down all the time. How are we doing over here? Seem to be doing okay over here. Bring these horsemen back. These squares. Form another unit of squares by there. Still getting plenty of shots away with the canister. Which is very, very much needed at the moment. Our men are running, Lots of men running. General can't rally yet. Um, I've lost my left flank. So the formation the formation doesn't always work as you can see, but nine well, eight, nine times out of ten it does. Just that I haven't quite reacted as quickly as I usually would. Uh what else we got left now? I have to charge the Janus Street with my general. It's come down to the last resort now basically. Left flank is gone, right flank is secure. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Right, this is what we're going to do. The line's going to bring be brought right up, like so. And these two units as well. And we have a heroic death. Oscar Reichmann is dead, finally. Probably uh, survived longer than he should have. Bring my cavalry to take out their artillery in the centre. Hold up this flank for as long as possible. Unit is dead, sir. Get this militia unit back into the action. Start getting these units to attack now. Oh, and here we go. It's very dangerous stuff at the moment. I'm going to take out the artillery by there. And we are losing slightly now. Are running, sir. Losing lots of men, unfortunately, and it's not looking good. It is not looking good, my friends. Canister shot still doing damage. It needs to at the moment. Going to melee on the horse. The line getting completely eaten up at the moment. Running, Try to get a bit defensive here on this right flank now. Form square with these units. Go ultra defensive. Continue with canister shot. Switch to melee attack Janissaries. Janissaries, I think it's pronounced. Not very good with pronunciations. Try to hold on this hill as best we can. We've routed this unit, well done. We 
are losing units left, right and centre at the moment. Artillery crew is gone from the artillery as well. The square's got to hold up now as long as they can. In the centre. This unit's got to be brought around quickly. The square's doing a decent job. It's basically all i got left now. And the militia. We're trying to go for an epic last stand on this hill. If it's very much against us though. Our men are running We've lost our men on the right flank. What we got left on this hill. Trying our best to take out some of these horses. Stick fire and advance on for this unit now. Militia getting some shots away. They still got their artillery, of course, which is going to cause a lot of damage to me. I've got no horse units left to take them out. We've now lost this square. This unit's holding up very well. But unfortunately, we're going to lose this battle by the looks of things, unless, unless a miracle happens, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> there we are. Just fast forward, no point uh, Our men are running, sir. denying the inevitable. There we are, battle is over, and we have unfortunately lost, so close defeat, and that is a kick in the teeth. So the Ottomans are well and truly back, the French are dominating, and we at the moment don't stand much of a chance, oh here we go, no point fighting this, we're going to get wiped out, so we'll auto resolve, defeat, and there we are, that army's gone now, army destroyed and heroic death so i hope you've enjoyed this episode it hasn't been it hasn't gone very well for us but we will try to bounce back i've been dragonheart until next time goodbye